like the chocolate. I know, I know. You, that like that? Look at that. you like that? You like that? You like that? Hey, welcome back. Starting tonight, a very popular show seen right here on CB CBS 3 moves to a brand new time. Entertainment Tonight can now be seen at 7.30. And joining us now to celebrate the new time slot, ET host Kevin Frazier in the flesh. So excited to be here. I, you know, I, it feels like family. We talk all the time. Right. Yes. We're never in person. That's yes. And I know Don. I've been friends with him, and I've known Yuki for so long. So it's great to be Good here. Good to with have the you here, man. So yeah. glad Speaking to have of you. family, you've been talking with some of Philadelphia's entertainment royalty. Our family here. Yeah. Well, let's start with Kevin Hart. Okay. Yeah. Okay. As, as many of you know, Kevin was just down in um, Houston helping out the folks with yes. Hurricane Harvey mm -hmm. relief, handing out water with um, Chris Paul. But I caught up with Kevin in Las Vegas during his heartbeat weekend. And you know, Kevin has a child on the way. Yeah. And we were talking about that child coming and um, how he was going to help with diaper duty and help his mm -hmm. wife. Uh, Kev told me he wasn't going to help. I want you to oh, listen to this because no. he said he's going to be a thug dad. Oh. Please listen to Kevin Hart. Please. <laughs> Are you ready for diaper duty? No. I thought you would come around. I thought I'm not around. I doing thought... nothing. I told you, man. So what are you going to, I mean, that doesn't I'm work. I'm not doing nothing. That doesn't work, Kev. I'm a, I mean, occasionally I'm going to talk to him. We ain't telling you the name. And we ran down the list with the kids, and we all made it a family decision. Oh, it was a family decision. Yeah. And we ain't telling you the name. What's the name? What's the name? We're not telling you, man. <laughs> not yet. So get out of here. And it ain't David. <laughs> See, now the thing I love about Kevin is that he'll make those faces, and he'll talk a lot of junk, uh -huh. but then Aniko will grab him. You see how she grabbed him right there? Right, like, right. babe. Babe, I'm checking you. Uh -huh. So Kev was there. It was part of his heartbeat weekend. It was great. He was being Kevin Hart because that's what he does. That's he, what he does, he right. Just, he's that guy. So but it is right. great to also see when anything happens, he's the first celebrity to fork over cash and say, hey, let's He did that. He helped us. Yeah. Floyd McDonald's tur uh, charity turn that we had, a charity uh, telethon that we had here. $10,000. He's, $10, the, best. he's, he's the, best. the best. The yeah. best. All right, you talked to another Philadelphia native yeah. about the 76ers. We know what your prediction is, yes. but I'm curious yes. what you found out. Well, I talked to Will Smith. We he was in Blackpool, England for mm. um, a concert. He had two concerts in Europe with DJ Jazzy Jeff. They reunited. First of all, I forgot how nice Will is. I mm -hmm. mean, he oh, has yeah, game. Uh, you forget that he has yeah. that rap game, but we also talked about the Sixers since he is a part owner. And Will is so excited that he couldn't hold it in. He says, forget the process. We're headed to the motherland. Listen to this. <laughs> Sixers are going to be spectacular what? this year. What, what's going on with the Sixers? Yeah, no, but, but, man, why are you hearing me it. screaming stuff like that? Playoffs. Man? Yes, and we're we're very excited about where the team's headed, and we're 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 looking forward to good things this year. Playoffs. <laughs> so, Will is right. throwing it out there. Right. The Sixers yes. are going to the playoffs, you and if there's an to... issue, you know who to call. Yeah. call no Will doubt. Smith. Mm -hmm. but, I'd um, like to see Will, Jazzy, Jill Scott, Kevin, all of them back at the games. Just Bradley right Cooper. There. You All will start. I think you will start seeing a lot more of them there. This team is so yeah. good now. I mean, yeah. the talent is yeah. there. It's very and, you buzzy. know, give Fultz a second to grow up, and I think that team's going to be okay. By the way, this morning, mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I go to see Patty Jackson, who is on sure, the radio WDS. here, one of, our, yeah. one of our great friends. And Patty made an entire cobbler for me. And she said, make sure you take some cobbler oh. to Yuki. Oh. So you can deliver Love you, Patty. our girl, Look at Patty this. Jackson, Happening made live. cobbler for Love us. Love you, Patty. Oh, my goodness. And you know that cobbler. Cobbler's real. I had no idea, and I came here a few years ago for a visit, and Patty right. showed up with the cobbler, and I was like, what is this? And ever since then, I'm like, I need the cobbler. Look at you I'll hiding it behind the back. pillow. Yeah, you yeah. see, I, wait, I hid it from you so you can focus. Before I dig into this, though, let's get a little serious for just a minute. Tomorrow night, celebrities will come together for mm -hmm. a hand-in-hand -hand benefiting hurricane relief, yeah, and you're going to be a part that. of that. Yeah, it, it's we're going to be there to cover it in all the cities, but it is important that we give back, because let's remember, people are suffering down in Houston, but mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. we have now Florida, and as you go north into Georgia and South Carolina and other states, so we really need to look out and help, and that's what it's about. It's about stars giving mm -hmm. back to the people who support them every single day. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're going to watch that. that here on CBS. Right here. And you guys are also, we mentioned, on at a new time. Yes. 7.30. Listen, same show, same flavor, <laughs> 7.30. We're going to bump into um, prime time, so don't panic when you turn on that TV and we're not there at 7. We'll be there at 7.30, and we'll have everything that you've come to love from entertainment we tonight. We love it so much. Speaking you love that of, I am, and speaking of flavor, you came to town, and you went out and into the crowd, into the public. You made some cheesesteaks today. I got so excited because, Where? you know, when I get to Philly, I mm. want to soak up some Philly. Right. So I went over to Campos yeah. and they were like, you, you want to cook your cheese steak? You. Oh. I was like, wait, wait, you're going to let me in cook a, my cheese steak? In a blazer. No yeah, way. no, in this blazer. That's why if I smell a little bit like cheese steak, it's, it's, it don't, I, you're probably like, Kevin Frazier smelled like cheese steak. In <laughs> it was great. But it was because I was making cheese steaks at Campos. It was so much fun. I want to thank them for letting me behind the grill. But more importantly, I got to, I, I had never seen where Ben Franklin was buried or Betsy mm. Ross. 
across mm -hmm. town. So in an hour span, I ran to all those places and made a cheese steak. You got the, f the slice of Philly, right? You did. Come yeah. back and see us, because you know Night Shyamalan's doing another film. Yes, he He's is. He's doing Glass. Yeah, but y'all don't know. <laughs> see, Yuki is also Hollywood. He gets out to Hollywood, mm -hmm. too. Every Everybody now and then. knows him in Hollywood. Every you now think, and then. You, you need to know. Mm -hmm. All right. Every now and then. <laughs> 7.30, guys. That's the new time to catch Kevin. Entertainment tonight right here on CBS 3. We got Inside Edition coming yes. at 7. Entertainment tonight at its new time, 7.30.